Over the weekend, it came to light that Tate Britain is in the process of shaping up their galleries in what's being dubbed a polemic against the past. Thank goodness. The museum, sponsored by your hard-earned taxes, might I add, are removing the likes of Stanley Spencer, <laughs> William Hogarth, <laughs> in favour of making a more inclusive experience involving works that relate to Britain's not-so-woke past. Along with this, of course, they are set to provide some analysis explaining the piece's links to slavery, racism and colonialism. Naturally, the question is, when will they when will this end? Well, just look at the evidence. A similar thing happened with the renowned Welcome Collection just a few months back. After months of consternation, self-deprecation and flagellation, the museum realised the natural conclusion of their logic to close the museum's permanent exhibition because it was just so purely evil. If the people in charge of teaching our history hate our history, then will it end in the abolition of our history? We contacted Tate Britain for comment and a spokesman clarified, whilst we may be replacing a small number of paintings by artists such as Hogarth and Spencer with some of their other equally celebrated pieces, the number of their works on show will remain the same, if not greater. The works on show will tell the stories of 500 years of British history, of which colonialism and empire are just one component. We're doing it for you guys. I'm joined now by Professor Robert Toombs of Cambridge University. Professor? Yes, hello. What is wrong with completely ripping our history apart and making it much more inclusive? Uh, well, I don't think the two things follow. Uh, wh why is it inclusive to, uh, to try to create division, to try to give a, a history of the past which is distorted and uh, artificially uh, pessimistic when we know that we have very good stories to tell which bring us together and which we can feel considerably proud. I mean, one but thing is, of course, the struggle against slavery. They don't want to bring us together. They want to divide us and make us hate each other. What's wrong with that? Uh, yes, well, that's the problem, isn't it? I mean, I think there's, there's a lot that lies behind this, as, we, as we're getting to know. I mean, partly it's a sort of rejection of the idea of Western culture seen as somehow dominant and the creator of inequality and racism and all the rest. And I think a lot of it's just fairly superficial stuff. It's curators of museums who want to make a name for themselves or who are scared of getting the sack if they're, if they're accused of racism. So for whatever reason, we get these, these very, uh, well, sort of, well, woke is the word I'm trying to avoid, but you get these rather arrogant and patronizing views of the past put forward by people who have very little understanding or interest in really telling history as it was. Well, if we've got a problem with the, with the teaching of history in school, and, and if the teaching of history in school is so painful for these young people to understand and for someone to go in and we've got to get rid of Hogarth and we've got to get rid of various statues and stuff, should we, as a responsibility to the young people and the next generation who've been utterly brainwashed, should we not just remove everything that offends them? <laughs> Uh, well, I'm not so sure they, well, because we don't know how many of them are really offended and how much of this is a kind of act, you know, people who want to show that they're progressive minded. I mean, the, the, the young people I come into contact with are students, and I think many kids at school are not, are not really going to be brainwashed by a lot of this. I think they're being deprived of a lot. And they're being they're being told things that are that are not true. They're being they're being deprived of a rounded understanding of the past, which is really a very enriching thing. Uh, and it, but it's been it's being um, turned into a kind of one-dimensional piece of propaganda, of which I'm afraid a lot of museums are complicit.